Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to block guest Wi-Fi users from accessing your network. So what we're going to do is go to wireless and uh, the guest Wi-Fi that was created for the guest users, what you're going to do is to edit it and uh, uncheck default forward. So what this option does is that it allows wireless clients to communicate with each other. So by disabling it, clients who are connected to the same access point, which is the guest access point, they won't be able to communicate. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. And click OK. Next, we're going to go to IP, Pool, and we're going to look at our pool for this DHCP server. So this is the IP address range that users from the guest Wi-Fi um, or the guest network will get their IP address from this range. We are going to copy this range and create a access list with it. So go to IP firewall address list. We're going to create a new address list. So we're going to call this guest users. So this is the IP um, the address range for them. OK. Now we are going to create some firewall rules. So we are going to filter rules. And the first rule that we are going to create is in the input chain. And the input chain is anything that is coming into the router and destined for the local, for the router itself. So anything that is coming in. So we are going to catch all the traffic as it comes into the router. Go to advance and the source now will be the guest users so that will be a source address list. Then let us go back to general and the destination IP now. So anything that is going to our local network. So we don't want the guest users accessing Winbox, we don't want them to access web config or anything like that. So, so we're going to block them from all of those things. So this is so this is a router router's IP, and we're going to select TCP for the protocol, and then the destination ports. So we're going to block port 80, which is for the web config. Um, port 21 22 23 and uh, so these are for telnet um for telnet and ssh ftp and uh, winbox is 8291 action and we're going to block so we're going to drop those packets and let us put a comment on this and call it block guess let's call local ports so at least we'll know that we are blocking them from the local ports okay Next, we're going to create a next um, filter rule, and this one is also in the input chain. And we're going to use the same address list. So, if the source address list is the guest users, then and the, and the destination is our other network, which is the 192.168.88.1. So the networks are like this. So if we look at addresses, we can see the address, the networks. So this is one network that is on this bridge. And this is the next network that is on the guest bridge. But we don't want the guest users accessing any of these. So that is why we are creating these two rules. So the first rule that we created block access to the local network on the 10 network and now we are blocking on the 88.1 network 
So anything going to this network that is coming from the guest users, we're going to drop those packets and we're going to call this block guest LAN. Alright, so I'm going to do a test from a phone that is connected to that network. So I'm going to try and connect to the local network. I know you see some some packets um, showing up. That means it's blocking it. I'm going to try 80.1. You should see more traffic, no, more packets coming through on that network. Yeah, so we are currently blocking the users, the users, the guest user from accessing the local network and also from accessing Winbox, FTP, SSH and all of those services that is running on our router. So that is how we block guest Wi-Fi users from accessing our local network. And that's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please remember to do so. So thanks for watching.